Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we actually finally managed to get ourselves to uh, the second castle after defeating Richter Belmont in a glorious display of mortal combat. But of course, we didn't actually kill Richter, at least not for realsies. No, no, we managed to destroy Shaft's uh, grip that he had on the poor chap. Anyway, now, I did try grinding for the sword that I actually wanted. It was the heavenly sword, but after like 20 plus minutes of grinding for it, I decided I'm just wasting my time. Anyway, let's explore the new castle, shall we? Now, we have a new objective. We have to defeat Shaft properly. And we have to find Zucron, apparently. But we have to find the five pieces of Vladdy Boy. Well, they're hidden and protected by five bosses. Which, the first one, we're going to be dealing with possibly in this episode, if we can get there, will be Medusa. Now, Medusa isn't actually that tough. So, we're just going to sweep along and grab up everything we can. Now, the beauty of going into this castle, everything is way harder. We're going to start getting body bagged a little bit by the much, much, much more difficult enemies. But there is a silver lining to this, and that is, of course, we're going to be getting much better weapons and equipment, and we're going to start leveling up again, which is very nice. So... I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Come on, Alucard. Get your ass up there. There we go. Cool. Now, this is basically exactly the same castle that we had before. Except, of course, we just to pick up the royal coat, uh, cape. But it's a downgrade to what we already have, unfortunately. Let's go. Let's explore. And our first foe is this unfortunate skeleton that has lost his head. We have some more items to grab, because of course we do. We have the high potion, resist ice, resist stone, resist thunder. And we want to make sure that we're completely filling these areas in, because remember, the more squares explored, the more... Oh, nice armor we're going to be collecting. So we're level 28. So we've got 36,000 36,078. Wow. Even that little skeleton there is worth a heck of a lot of XP. Funny enough. Yeah, we could actually level on this guy if we just spend a bit of time grinding. We're not going to do that because there are far more efficient enemies to grind a little bit further ahead. Now, unfortunately, of course, these enemies that we're going to be grinding on, and that sounds iffy, doesn't it? Um, you know what? Let's explore this place first. The enemies that we're going to be grinding on are a little bit tougher, a little bit more dangerous, but my god, do they, they give us some XP. And we're going to be holding on to this holy water as well, because man, oh man, the holy water is where it's at. Let me tell you. Now, that there is an interesting new enemy called a tombstone. It's not very dangerous, not very deadly, but what it will do... Um, we're going to equip the sword, I think. Just because, apparently, when the sword familiar gets to level 50, you can actually wield it as a weapon, and it becomes disgustingly powerful because it's one of the only weapons in the game that will actually level with you. So even though once it's got to 50, you can hold it and it does a metric ton of damage, it will still keep leveling up to 99 the more you use it. Um, apparently, it's like it's not technically the best weapon in the game because there's quite a few good weapons in the game, um, but it it's good. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna equip that if I can remember how. We actually equip it. Relics, I believe. There we go. So unfortunately, see you later, fairy. We're going to be getting our sword friend out. 
Now, he's going to start off, like, utterly useless. And he's going to be utterly useless for a while. Now, there is a skull around here. There he is. And we're just going to take him out, hopefully, with our power of flaming bat breath. Ooh. Ooh, the sword actually actually kicked an ass or two. And whilst I'm thinking about this stuff, I also want to switch up. Right, there's the garnet. There's also another weapon around here. I want to switch my equipment up completely, actually. Uh, I'm going to... Sh you know, I think we'll keep the holy sword for now. I was considering breaking out the gem sword just because it gives us, you know, gems, which we can sell. Um, but I might keep that for now, and I keep pushing the wrong bloody button. So we're going to take the Ankh of Life off, and we're going to replace it with a Mystic Pendant so our mana comes back quicker, because we want that. Now, somewhere around here, there is... The Sword of Dawn. And an Iron Ball. So the Iron Ball is here. And there is a Sword of Dawn as well. Which I'm not 100% sure where that is. Let's keep looking, shall we? For a minute or two. If I can't find it, I will find it off camera um hang on so yeah there's the garnet there don't want to turn into the dog i want to become bat wings and fast forward just to fill this in now where the devil is the sword of dawn hmm is it back up here perhaps hidden in the wall Possibly. Doesn't look like it. Aha! There it is. I knew it was here somewhere. By the grace of God, we found it. There we go. Sword of Dawn. Now, not 100% sure how good this weapon is, to be honest with you. Um, let's have a little look, see what it says. Summons Dawn Warriors, and it actually does more damage. Two-handed sword, but we get less health, uh, less armor. Yeah, the trouble is it's, it's an interesting weapon, but it's very slow. Anyway, enough about that. We're running rapidly out of mana, which is less than fantastic. But we have many, 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 many more items to find. Because, oh boy, we are just getting started here. Let's get out. Let's see if we can't find some more Vladdy Boys minions to dispatch. Yeah, definitely a cool enemy coming up, to be honest. Which is certainly rather damaging but we're going to be able to get ourselves to like level i mean what level are we now we're level 28 we're going to be able to easily in a couple of minutes get ourselves up to level 35 like no real problems at all we have a save room which yes just make sure everything's actually recording before i overwrite Because that would be awkward. Pretty sure I've actually got my microphone uh, set up to a where I'm really happy with it now. I've got my compressor working. So I could be like really loud into this thing. And it doesn't matter. Which is cool. Now. We could. Explore this way. Just a little bit into the next room. And fight this gentleman here. Now, I haven't actually fought this guy yet. So, I'm not 100% sure on the best strat. But there are 
as I said, five enemies that we need to take out. Ooh, you sausage. My plan on this video was to do Medusa. Oh, really? Really? Are you sure? Is that all you had, lad? All right. So there's the ring of Vlad, which I believe is just um, a part of Vladdy Boy. So, okay. Oh, there's one of the five down. Let's go deal with the other one, shall we? Now, before we head back that way, we're going to try and explore and get all of the items. Like I said, not going to guarantee 100%. Um, but we're going to get as much as we possibly can. Now, I think if we go down here, this will open up a teleportation room. All right. I guess we're not going to use that yet, though. Although, we'll, mm, no, no, we're not going to use that yet. We don't need to. We have plenty this way. Now, let's advance. I'm not sure what to think about the Sword of Dawn. All right, we've got to be careful with this guy. Because this... Ooh. Okay. So, we've learned something here today. That doesn't really hurt it. These things don't... Oh, that doesn't really hurt it either. Curious. All right, well, whatever. Now, these tombstones really are annoying because if they hit you, they will curse you. But that's okay. Curse is one of the uh, more annoying enemy abilities in this game, if you ask me. It just seems to waste your time. Come on, there we go. Because all it does is uh, prevent you from attacking. It doesn't damage you or hurt you in any way. Oh. Can actually attack it. Whilst it's uh, not aggroed, which is curious. I didn't know that. We're learning stuff together, guys. Now, new enemies. These balloon pods. These bloom pods are harmless, but again, because I guess they're new enemies, they are worth a considerable amount of experience. They do drop spores, or seedlings, whatever you want to call those things, and they do hurt. Now, what is through here? Another save room. Okay. You know, we're going to take advantage of that save room. Because why not, I guess? Why the devil not? When in Rome, do what the Romans do. No, I don't know what the Romans do, but I'm sure it's a fascinating exercise of blood and glory. Oof. Yeah, I really did just go all the way down for my 50 bucks. I want to be careful here. Because these spores will damage you. And when you get damaged, you get knocked out of your... bat form so this enemy here that guy yes he's that easy at the moment he's giving us about 2,000 experience per kill um, now on the flip side of that he also does a considerable amount of damage to us like he can kill us in a couple of hits but before we worry about that we have Medusa now, Medusa is a, a bitch, right? She's not particularly difficult, but she will um, stone us all the time, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, we want the mirror armor, which is going to considerably drop our defense, but that's preferable to constantly being stoned. And <laughs> yeah, she she really goes down like that. And there is the heart of Vlad. And I don't know what the heart of Vlad actually gives us. Um, avoid curse. 
Oh. Well. All right then. I like that. So, let's get our decent walk armor back on. Yeah, that's only giving us 20, the platinum mail. Did we not get the lightning mail? We didn't, did we? That's okay. We'll go back and get the lightning mail a little bit later on. Oh, uh, should we go back? Nah, better go back and get it now, I guess. That way I know I've got it. Where are we? Yeah, we're level 31. So I'm going to guess by the time we kill this guy, or maybe the next one, we're going to level up again. These panthers just give... Yeah, okay. When he does that, he's a little bit of a sneak, but he's just going to reform. Okay, all right. So we didn't actually level, but by the time we kill one more, we will have. Come on, you sneaky little turd. There we go. There we go. That's how quick we're going to level here now. It's kind of insane. Because we've gone from being a very big, powerful fish in the other castle to, uh, well, something a lot less powerful here. But we're not quite as weak as we were when we started the game. Yeah, so we need 4,000 XP to level. Come on, you little sneaky bastard. There we go. Holy water is still paying our rent. And we're going to enjoy that. Oof. Yeah, you can see just how deep those panthers do cut, though. Very deep. We can just keep coming in and out of this. And this is how I'm probably going to be grinding for a while. Uh, and when I say a while, I'm going to get us up to like 35, something like that, I guess. Oh, it's just unbelievably good. You can even set a trap. See how quick this is? It's just insane. And I don't actually feel bad about doing this either because, you know, if I can find an easy way of grinding, I'm going to take it. Right, what are we up now? Yeah, one more and we've leveled again. Come on. Hip us. There we go. Ooh, he's being a little bit sneaky, this one, but that's okay. Ooh, okay. Super sneaky. Ooh, see that? I haven't seen them try and defend themselves like that before. But no matter. They all fall before Vladdy Boy's onslaught. Now, I should really... Ooh, you little bastard. I should be doing this off camera, really, but... I'm just here proving a point. Saying that, we've made some actual incredibly good progress. If we weren't going to go for all the items, we're already, you know, two out of five down. Yeah, so I guess actually holy water is the best way of dealing with these guys. Because when you go to swipe them, they just duck down. Okay, we're learning, guys. We're learning together. Now, I don't know if they have... Ooh. Sword actually got that one. Hopefully the sword got some good XP for that. Ooh, our sword is really doing some ass kickage. And the great thing is, we're basically on level 35 now. One more should do it, I reckon. Ooh, son of a... There we go. Yeah, one more. So there we are, level 35. So just in this video... We have gone up, I think, what, seven levels? Because I think we were 28 or 27 when we started this. So that's kind of bonkers, if you ask me. Anyway, I'm going to go back and save it. Why I'm going to do off camera, though, I'm going to go back and get that armor. But I will illustrate where we find that in the, ne in the start of the next video. I just want to knock it off. Knock it off the old to-do list. I don't know whether I'm going to 
continue grinding this guy for a little while. I mean, maybe. I don't know if they're still worth fighting after so many levels. But then in all fairness, we could probably grind these guys out. But the only problem with these guys, they're kind of annoying. It's when they pop. All those seeds go everywhere. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we're going to continue exploring the castle. Till then, guys, thanks for watching.